Welcome back to my channel, everybody. I've got a haul video here. Um, I've got, I don't have a big haul from everybody. I'm saying haul and I don't like that word. You know, I'm, I mean, I'm contradicting my own self now. Um, but, um, um, I've got a haul video from several different places. None of the, none of the hauls are like really that big, but, um, but there's a bunch all together. So we'll get started here. Um, the first one here is um, from Half Price Books. I got two two more sets I bought from Half Price Books, and I'm gonna rip the sticker off here real quick. I paid thirty bucks for this, but I don't. I don't it's not a great deal, but I thought it was pretty cool. It's uh, six movies, so it's pretty cool. It's the Errol Flynn collection signature collection. Uh, the one thing that struck me about this, I went in there. The last time for my last half price books video, when I bought those, I seen this in there, and then I I got thinking about, it and I was like, man, I've got to have that. I want to go back and get it. It's not that I probably couldn't found it on um, eBay and bought it, but the price wasn't that bad for six movies, and these are, um, you know, it's Errol Flynn collection. I don't have a lot of Errol Flynn. I got some on Laserdisc, but we'll go through these real quick. This is. They died with their boots on. We'll just run through them real quick. There you go. Sorry if I run through these real quick. I don't want to take like two hours to make a video, but I might. There's Dodge City. Now, Dodge City I do have, I believe. I think I have it on Blu-ray, actually. It's a pretty cool movie. I haven't watched it in a while, though. Seahawk. It's Brenda Marshall, Claude Rains. Sorry, I didn't list some of the other stuff. I know I'm not going through all the information on these. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. But what I like about all these is you can see they got all got quite a bit of features on it. You know, Captain Blood. He did a lot of pirate movies for some reason. But I thought this was a pretty cool find. What I like about the box is, oddly enough, um, it looks like Kino Lorber. It's not, but it looks like Kino Lorber. I mean, Kino Lorber's collection sets are uh, the same color and everything. I don't know if that's on purpose, if Kino's done that on purpose or what. And this is The Adventures of Errol Flynn. This must be like a documentary or something. I'm holding them at an angle because I don't get that glare in there so much from my phone. So there's those movies right there. Pretty cool stuff. I can't wait to kind of dive into them. I've actually kept them in the in the package over here until I did this video. So now I can go throw one in maybe tomorrow morning and watch it. Uh, this other the other half price book find that I got was um it was a Gene Autry set here. It's the Gene Autry Collection, Volume 4. Robin Hood of Texas, Wagon Team, Sioux City Sioux, Blue Canadian Rockies. I'm not going to take these out because I think they all have uh, like a pretty similar cover. There you go. Pretty cool stuff. Like Gene Autry. Let's see here. The next up is... I will get into the, these are from Walmart here, these next ones are from Walmart. Um, I got a few things here from Walmart, make sure all these were from Walmart, yeah. Um, this is the Doris Day collection, it's a six movie collection. Uh, these are, I think, reissued just with these these covers on them, I, I didn't own these before, but it's six movies for like ten bucks, it's hard to beat. Uh, let's see what else is on here, Pillow Talk. Lover Come Back, Send Me a Flower, oh, Send Me No Flowers, The Thrill of It All, Midnight Lace, The Man Who Knew Too Much. It's uh, some pretty cool stuff right there. Doris Day. The next one is the another set in that similar line from Rock Hudson Collection, Six Movie Collection. And it has 
Has anybody seen my gal? Anybody seen my gal? Come September, man's favorite sport, strange bedfellows, very special favor, and blindfold. And um, I didn't pull the Doris Day off here, the cover, but this is this is what those sets look like. I have a um, Don Knotts collection. Actually, they have a reissued Don Knotts, which is the same exact same exact DVD that I have, but it's got that slipcase, but I wasn't going to rebuy it just for a slipcase. It's kind of pointless. This is Mikhail's Navy, the movie. I also purchased this. These are basically just like slipcase slip case reissues. That's the only, you know, one of these days of that uh, aggravating slipcase is probably worth more than the movie. But I, I have actually had Mikhail's Navy, the entire series, box set. Over there, I'll have to show you guys one of these days. Uh oh, I popped my I popped my tripod there. The next movies, um, the next movies here are um, some big lots. I got some big lots movies here. Yeah, I didn't show you that. Yeah, big lots. Uh, it's just some. I got some DVDs and Blu-rays here. I picked up. Start off with the DVDs and work our way to the Blu-rays. This is D13U. Um, what I thought, I, th I think this is like, it says District 13 Ultimatum. So I don't know if it's some kind of sequel to District 13. So it might be interesting. Is that movie District 13 or District 9? I can't remember. Is that District? I can't remember. Well, it looked interesting. I usually don't. For three bucks, I picked it up. I, it's... If it's not interesting, I'm not going to buy it. I'm just not buying DVDs for the sake of DVDs. Um, I just I, I like quality over quantity, and um, this is a movie I just wanted to see. And this was Dirt. It's movie. It's just a racing movie. Sometimes I collect those kind of things, but it's dirt racing. And um, it has Kevin Dillon. That's the only person I recognize on it, but featuring an off-road racing champion and call Rendles and Rendles Linder. I don't know how you pronounce his name. Renesder. <laughs> I can you might be able to pronounce it. Might be able to figure it out there. But yeah, I just kinda wanted to see that. It had a slip case also well, so it was kinda cool. The next one is another, I, the same day I found the other Gene Autry set, I found this Gene Autry set. This is Gene Autry, classic, classic 1950s television program in full color. This is the fifth and final season. This is season five. So I picked that up. Stuff like that I'll pick up all day long with these old te television shows. I don't mind. Uh, the next movie is not necessarily something that I would... Um, normally buy but i've been finding these movies at at um they're like kind of family movies i've been finding these at um big lots for some reason and they'll they if for some reason they have these clear plastic covers and this is the smurfs the lost village it's a looks like a cg animated movie and um Yeah, I just kind of buy it because of the novelty of that clear case. It's just an oddball studio because they also had a copy of this, the same movie, in a blue case. So I don't know if they were just, I don't know why they got packaged like that. Why they're, because I, I love the clear cases. I don't know why, but I wish Blu-rays, I mean, Blu-rays are Blu-ray in blue cases just because it's called Blu-ray and it's just, it's a mind eye kind of thing, you know. It's a connection. You people put Blu ray blue, you know, you know Blu ray blue. And then so, but I like the clear cases, and it has to be cheaper to make blue clear cases because you're not having to put any pigmentation in the manufacturing process of it. So, it it's, um, I don't know. I just like them better. But the next one is a Dean Kane movie. It's called Kill Katie Malone. Never buy a demon. On the internet, it just sounded interesting, and um, I like to support Dean Kane as well. 
I'm not a I'm not a staunch Republican. I'm a more of a middle of the ground kind of person, but maybe even more middle left for the most part. But being middle left's like being evil these days. I mean, if you're not all the way, all the way to the one way, you're no way. So the next one is the ruins unrated. It just sounded interesting. It's, it looks like a kind of a cheesy horror movie. I'm interested to watch that, so that'll be pretty cool. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on some of this stuff, but that's my big lots. Uh, the next ones, here's a couple from eBay. They're not in any cases or nothing. I mean, they're not in any kind of packaging right now, but I just picked up Anna and Apocalypse. Actually, I think this is from this is from Amazon. The next ones will be Amazon, and that's what I have left. This is an Amazon pick, Anna and Apocalypse. It's just the Blu-ray edition. I know there's some versions floating around from Dollar Tree and stuff that are DVDs, but I, I, if I can, I buy the Blu-ray if it's possible. Um, then the next one is Wild Horse Roundup and Timber War. Timber War. It's a Kermit Maynard movie. I bought it for Timber War, but he made like some sci-fi and horror movies, some kind of B horror movies and stuff like that, and this is one of his early movies he made for, um, I'd have to, I'm trying to look and see what studio he made these for, but he just made it for like a B studio thing, but he, he was one of those guys that just pumped out movies, like he could make a movie in a week, one of those kind of guys back in the 50s, you know, and they were making sci-fi movies, and but he was just like a studio contracted director he did he you know he didn't even make a lot of extra money like they would hire other directors would come in to make their feature films it, it might have been actually um universal in the day because see a lot of people don't know it's universal you know it's a big company i think it's universal or columbia i think it's universal but yeah it's universal because universal back in the day like it wasn't like it wasn't known for its feature films Universal was a small theater, and they were mainly made B movies. But they did make some features. You know, you also you have the Universal Horror and stuff like that. Those were like their A pictures. They made stuff like that for their A's, but they were known for their B pictures. And he might have worked for Universal. It might have been Universal, but he was one of those guys. It was like lower rung directors, but he was the guys. He was probably making the money though for the company because they weren't. He wasn't asking for a lot of money, and. They weren't paying him a lot of money, and he was just cranking out this crap. And it wasn't crap, you know, it was, but it was putting butt in the seats. Those kind of movies, you know, just week after week, you know, a lot of movies. So that was the kind of director he was, and I was interested in seeing Timberwolves. That's one of his noteworthy movies. Um, let's see here. This is the movie I watched last night. It was, uh, it's a very bizarre comedy, and I, I really enjoyed it. I like Tom Green. I like Freddie Got Fingered. I thought it was funny, you know. And um, there's the back. And um, I like Les Stroud from Survivor Man. I love Les Stroud. You know, it's it. You know, the really the stories kind of loosely follows those two characters. They're the stars of it. Ob they're the stars. Obviously, they're the two biggest names in the movie. But you know, they did a pretty good job of kind of focusing on the whole cast you know more than some of the other minor characters of a lot of screen time um i'm not going to go into this a whole lot it's just a good movie you need to check it out it's bizarre comedy it's just funny it's not woke comedy it's far from it <laughs> so if you enjoy that kind of stuff that's one to check out for sure we got a few more here these are all amazon by the way all right sorry if this is taking a long time but the next one is a kino lorber movie that i bought this is billy two hats it's a gregory peck movie i reviewed a gregory peck movie a few days ago on here and um, this is another kind of companion movie to that from kino lorber my favorite boutique studio i'm debating buying that 4k Good, good, the bad, and the ugly. I'd rather wait for them to release the whole trilogy in 4K because I already have the tri Man with No Name trilogy, which is not the good transfer of the movie. I don't own the other Kino transfer of the good, the bad, and the ugly, but it wasn't even good. But I don't want to 
pay more money for something that's it's just color corrected differently you know it's i'm not going to I'm not going to shell out more money until they come out with a whole Man with No Name 4K trilogy. That's the one I want. Uh, the next one here is in the, in the ongoing series I'm collecting on Blu-ray is the Thin Man series. This is another Thin Man. This is a third movie. Third. This is the third one, I believe, in the installment. Um, if I could find it real quick, I'd pull out the... I have the entire Thin Man collection on Laserdisc. I'll have to do that another day. I don't, I don't think it's findable real quick I apologize no I don't see it I don't see it the thin man though that's a funny story on laser disc I bought it like three times because I found it cheap and I found it in stores like two or three times so I bought it three times trying to put together a very nice set that are you know the discs are in good shape and the the outer box is in good shape laser disc boxes their box sets are notoriously bad because they're like a they're like a most of them are like a two half type of boxes they they like come in half and like they they they, they like set, a lot of people would stack them on top of each other so they they smash the corners out and they blow them out so yeah uh the next one i've got here is red line this one i hadn't watched yet it is a anime movie about racing i don't know much more about it it just looked, I seen a preview for it for the next movie I'm going to be showing you. They ran a preview for it and I thought it looked really cool, so I picked it up. The next movie I got, and everybody who will see this say, oh man, they just came out with that on, they came out with that on 4K. And I hadn't seen it, believe it or not. I like Japanese movies, but I hadn't seen this one. And, um, you know, I'm, got, I'm glad I didn't buy it on 4K because this is Battle Royale. Battle Royale, Battle Royal. The first movie's good. Battle Royale one is a pretty good movie. Uh, I think the lead actor is annoying. I think you, oh, I, you know, it's hard to tell in a foreign language if somebody's overacting. But I felt like this guy was overacting. He just, I didn't like his look. And, um, but I thought the other actors were pretty good, all the girls and things like that. And I thought the action was good in the first movie. You know, he had all the different, um, you know, he had all the different uh, weapons for people to get. The second movie is just a mess. I thought it was it was way too long. It was longer than it needed to be, and it was just a bunch of gun play. It was just gun violent play. You know, it's just you know I don't obviously don't have any problem with guns, but I just like there's just too much. If it was all gun play, there was no like hand to hand combat, and it wasn't really the it kind of lost focus of what the movie was about. It just kind of I don't know, just went on. I'm not going to get into it much. It's basically the society, you know. It's, it's I guess it takes place in a hypothetical Japanese society where the the kids are kind of running rampant, and um, the adults have had enough, and they basically pit like different class they, they basically they pick a junior high class each year to for a battle royal to the death one survivor everybody has to kill each other it was supposed to be real controversy i didn't think anything i didn't think it's come out in 2001 i didn't think it was that controversial for that time period it was gory but it wasn't any more gory than kill bill and stuff which were you know the american counterparts you know i've seen way gorier japanese movies than this it maybe it's just the content being supposed to be in the young age the, the, the first movie the characters look their ages they look kind of like they could be in junior high maybe a little older but the second movie they the people did not look like junior high middle school people at all the first one has kind of got that right there i just have some problems with the movies they I, I'm, I'm glad i didn't buy it in 4k for, for one the 4k was um region b locked so if i had to pin 80 bucks on that i don't have a re i don't have a region free and i don't really want a region free player I do have a computer that has a Blu-ray drive in it that I think can be converted to Region B, and I'm going to use that. So I do have a couple of Region B movies, but not much. But I don't want to buy them. I think it's bullcrap. I have to buy those. Arrow Video needs to put them out region, everything region free, because Blu-ray can be done that way. Everything can be region free. I don't like this. Trying to, they're getting extra money for making you basically having to import it. And it's imported nowhere if you get it off Amazon. You pay the tax. Like, 
that um oh crap that, that John Ford said I got the other day it it's it was higher because I bought I did buy it through Amazon and not through through the Indigo or not Indigo I'm sorry it's um I'm sorry what the company's name is but they um but I just really wanted it. It was something that was, it was limited to like 6,000 sets, which means it's not going to be worth anything ever. But, and, but that's, that's it on Battle Royal. I went too far and too long on that. I'm sure I pissed off some people who are fans of Battle Royal and it's a good movie, but it's not like, it didn't blow me away. I mean, I've seen, you know, a Japanese movie and the last movie I've got here from Amazon, I just picked, I just got it in just a little while ago. It's a movie everybody's had up on Instagram already. I've just got it late. It is Donnie Darko, the 4K Amazon. And I'm kind of... It, this is beautiful. This set is beautiful, no doubt. It's still in its wrapper, obviously. I haven't even opened it up yet. These sets are beautiful. Don't get me wrong. These big, thick sets. These heavy cardboard sets from Arrow. But I'm coming to a realization, like I was saying earlier, I'm on disability. And I don't know if I've told you guys in this video, I'm on disability, but I, I don't want to keep going into that. I'm not going to anymore, but I have limited, I, used, I have had a good job and made good money. can afford to buy pretty much whatever I wanted to and save plenty of bit of money. And all that came to an end once I, I have kidney failure and I'm on dialysis and it's just killing me, you know. And I was trying to keep up buying stuff like this, you know, and I, I can't buy this stuff as much anymore. And I, I and I'm not and I'm not um, trying to get money or nothing for anybody. I, I don't. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying about these sets are, I don't know if I really like them. Putting out this set was like thirty or forty bucks. It wasn't that bad in cost, but some some other sets they've been putting out, like for example, for the battle royal set it was like. You know, of course, it's imported. It's going to be eighty bucks, so it was probably sixty bucks to the English, you know, to the Region B people. It was probably still sixty bucks. That's just too much for seeing. Playing. I mean, it was two movies technically, but some of that stuff I don't want all those extra features on. I just don't care. You know, I, I want it for the movie. You know, some of the extra features are good. I like documentaries and stuff as much as the next man. I love documentaries. I love them, but this is getting ridiculous with. You know, this is, you know, I want, there's some movies I want, and I don't want to have to buy a big set like this every time I buy them. Some people are out there buying them. They have to be going broke buying all these sets. I mean, some of you, you're lucky if you've got the money to do it. I But even with my good job before, I was, you know, I, I had to kind of, you know, month to month, I'd be like, well, I can buy this set this month, and then next set, uh, you know, with budgeting, you know, especially if it was like over a hundred dollar set, you know, some of these sets that came out last year were two hundred dollars, and I could afford them when I had my job, but, you know, uh, but since then, now I, you know, maybe I can get one good thing every couple months, so I, you know, I just don't, I just kind of, I've kind of gone against this, these big sets like this. They're nice, but I rather just have the month. I rather them just spend the money on making a real good transfer and putting it in this regular case maybe with a slip good nice slip case uh -huh. Uh -huh. but this is this is um it's almost unnecessary this is a beautiful movie but i mean you know everybody got this too like it's all it's like this holy grail of movies it's not it's a good movie it's but it's 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 a great movie but it's not a it's i don't think it deserves this because i have the other arrow transfer of the the, the regular blu-ray transfer of this and now i've bought it again on 4k which it probably won't look much better but i did one of the box set of this i mean i like that stuff but it's just i don't know i don't know if anybody else has any of those issues with with these expensive sets coming out there's a lot of people i know that can't afford that you know a lot of these people that are doing a lot of hunting at dollar trees and stuff like that they can't afford those discs and i can't really either anymore and it's a shame because some of these sets are limited and that's the only way you can get this movie or they're region B locked and it's the only way you can get this movie. An American movie and they're region B locked. I mean, I'm sure the, the law is probably, they probably can't, they probably have to be region B locked. I mean, I'm sure how the law works, the copyright law works. It might have to be, but you would, I, I thought the part, when the Blu-rays first come out, they were advertised that they were going to be region free discs, all of them. 
but they that became not the case after they got into it but um but after you know after a while but i think 4k's art i think 4k is region free for the most part but you know i don't know it's what do you guys think about all that my rambling i sorry i rambled a lot in this video and um so, um, you know, you guys like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, tell me what you think of this video. And I will talk to you guys next time. Quick ending. Bye-bye.